Hey everybody, it's Marilyn, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so I'm on a bike ride again. I'm actually on the outside of a forest. Behind me is a really nice forest that I do a lot of walking, hiking and stuff. But today I biked here. My bike is here. Just taking a little break. Um, my butt kind of hurts from cycling so long. <laughs> Anyways, so Today's fragrance that I want to talk about is one that has been requested by a few of you. Uh, this is from Ariana Grande. It's a celebrity scent. And this is her first release called Ari. I have the picture of the bottle here. Uh, nice white pom-pom. I used to own Moonlight from Ariana Grande. I think it's a nice scent. Um, I didn't reach for it very often, but I thought it was really nice. Um, I also own Cloud, which I still own. Also something I don't really reach for much, just because I would prefer the uh, Baccarat Rouge 540. But anyways, today we'll be talking about Ari. This one was released in 2005, or 15, sorry. I have the dry down on my hand here. I'll just spray for the opening here. Okay. Hmm. Sorry, there's a plane going by. <laughs> I'll just pause it. All right. Okay, so the notes in Ari in the top we have raspberry, pear, and grapefruit. The middle notes are vanilla orchid, rose, and lily of the valley. And the base notes are marshmallow, musk, and woody notes. So what I get here in the opening. Oops, sorry, I just stabbed myself in the nose. <laughs> so what I get here... What I get here is a nice, fruity, sweet opening. For me, it's mostly raspberry. I get like a mixed fruit, maybe like raspberries and oranges. But I do like how creamy it is, how sweet. Um, it is kind of like a... Um, like a candy like sweetness rather than the actual fruit sweetness it is very soft and light and uh, fresh especially because of that grapefruit adding a little bit of citrus to this very sweet candy like fruity opening um, it is very pleasant i like it a lot so as this fragrance dries after the opening what I get mostly is it starts reminding me of a fruity marshmallow. So specifically, they have those candies, marshmallow candies that are, hang on, there's someone passing by. <laughs> Sorry about the interruptions. So there's those marshmallow candies that are kind of like twisted. I'm not sure what the name of them are exactly, but it's making me think of that. And it's like white marshmallow and pink marshmallow just twisted into a long kind of twisty thing <laughs> that's what it smells like to me it's still very sweet it's like edible it's something that it's like yeah it's something like you want to eat like flavored marshmallows with vanilla and you know raspberries or cherries or something like that so in the dry down of this scent um, apart from these fruity marshmallows the mu the musk in here sorry it starts getting stronger and stronger but it doesn't really overtake this mostly gourmandy candy sweet vanilla um, marshmallow squishy soft uh, somewhat powdery scent i don't get a lot of the florals in here it's not something that i'm even thinking about at all when i wear this it's just mostly that fruity sweet marshmallow so with some musk more as it dries down so with longevity and projection, oh, just one sec, sorry. <laughs> wow, <laughs> we talk pretty loud. Okay, where was I? Dry down. Yeah, so that musk in here does come mostly in the dry down. It's, it's still a nice scent, but and like I said, the musk doesn't really overtake this scent. This is a nice, youth, youthful, uh, fun, flirty, easy to wear, not so serious scent. I can see anyone wearing this of any age, 
but I think that this would probably appeal more to the younger demographic, um, maybe like 20s, teenagers. But of course, anyone can wear anything that they like as long as it smells good to them. And that's basically what I get here. It, um, it stays sweet throughout the entire thing. Um, also throughout the entire thing, it makes me think of marshmallows and vanilla and just like opening a bag of marshmallows and like grabbing in there, like stuffing my mouth <laughs> with them. Now I just had the imagery of that chubby bunny challenge. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I think, I think it's a lovely scent. I also think that this is quite similar to some of her other scents. Um, there is like this common Ariana Grande um, DNA in it that I think is very recognizable. And so I don't have the Moonlight here, the uh, Ariana Grande moon Moonlight scent to compare it to, but when I smell it, it kind of has that same base, uh, soft, um, semi-powdery vanilla base that is very nice. So if you liked Ariana Grande's uh, Moonlight, if you like sweet like candy, you would probably like this. But yeah, I think it's pleasant, but probably something I don't really need in my collection at the moment. But I do think it's nice and it's an easy one to wear and it's pleasant. So that was my review of Ariana Grande's RA, RE. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, sorry about all of the interruptions. I'm like in front of a bike path. So when people are going by, um, they're like looking at me. It's kind of weird, but... Uh, yeah, so if you have a favorite scent from her collection, please let me know which one you, you would recommend in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today, and I'll see you soon in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.